Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, we're going to troubleshoot iPhone 7 that is having the flashing screen. So you can see that the Apple logo comes on for a split of a second and it goes off. So I'm thinking there might be possible of two things either the battery is bad or the proximity sensor, the ear speaker, or the front camera that might have been the cause of it. I do not know what is the cause, so we're going to find out together in this video. All right. So hopefully we can fix the problem and if you do have the same problem on your iPhone 7 and I hope that this video would be helpful to you. All right, again, this is the iPhone 7. So the first thing I like to do is to get myself a Pentalobe P2. This is the 0 0.8, 0 0.8 Pentalobe P2. Going to remove the two screws here at the very bottom, right next to the charging port. Once you have removed that screw, put them on the side. Since I'm not able to turn off the phone, we are going to disconnect the battery. All right, so what I'm doing is getting a metal prying tool, stick in between that screen and that base of the phone, if you can see it carefully. And I do not stick all the way in, right about the tip of my prying tool. You do not want to stick it too in where you can damage the internal part of it. So right about this much is good enough. What I'm doing right now is to run along the screen as you can see I'm running on the side of the screen pry it a little bit again pry it on the second part run all along the screen what I'm doing right now is to cut the double-sided adhesive tape all right so the iPhone has this what we call the double-sided tape or a adhesive seal that seal the phone all around the corner to prevent water or dust to get in so in order to open up the screen, you need to cut that seal. Next, I'll be using a tri screwdriver, or this is the Y looking screwdriver. I'm going to remove the screw here because we, to disconnect the battery, we need to get the bracket out. So, this bracket is held down by four screws, and they're Y or tri screws. Remove them, four of them, and get the bracket out. And this is the battery connector. So once you disconnect that battery, the phone will no longer having the flashing screen. Okay. So as the battery is being disconnected, let me go ahead and position my new battery. We are going to try to install the new battery and see if that would work. Push it all the way in, make sure it's connected. They're kind of like Lego. Once you position them in a right place, you can just snap it in. Let's try to turn on the phone and see what happens. Does that mean my new battery has no juice? So let's plug in the charger, give it a minute or two and see what happens. It doesn't look good, it's still doing the flashing screen. Alright, so that indicates might not be the battery. So I'm going to remove the charger, always. Looks like the screen is still flashing, that the new battery is still fitting off the, uh, the screen. I'll be using a plastic prying too, and let's go ahead and disconnect the new battery. Now, I'm going to move the new battery on the side. Let's come back here. Use a Phillips screwdriver. We are removing the screw here. Let's try to change the proximity sensor if that would be the case of it. The two screws. And remove the bracket. Disconnect the proximity sensor here on the very top. Now here is the proximity sensor that I have. 
I'll be installing just like so. Since the new battery is giving the same symptoms, I'll be reconnecting the old battery. Okay, so the proximity sensor is installed and here comes the old battery. Okay, let's plug in the cable. Just want to make sure. Okay, it's connected. <clears throat> All right, it's still doing the same thing with the new proximity sensor, the ear front speaker. So it doesn't seem like anything is doing it. So let's go ahead and disconnect the, uh, the battery, disconnect the uh, proximity sensor. Could it be the screen? Let's find out. Let me go bring the new screen here. All right, here comes the new screen. I doubt it's the new screen. I mean, I doubt it's the screen. I hope it is so that we can resolve the problem. But usually the screen does not give that flickering thing, but we'll find out. Okay, so let's go ahead and reconnect that. If the screen does not fix us the problem, then we have run out of options, meaning that it could be coming from your logic board. The phone logic board might be the cause of it uh, because there's nothing else you can replace at this point. So just just, just kind of give you a, an idea. Once you troubleshoot the phone, uh, things that you can replace, like example like the battery, the screen, the front camera and everything else you have done that and if it's still the same then more likely would be the logic board all right it does look like it might be coming from the logic board yeah it is very unfortunate um, I have tried multiple things here as you can see the battery the new screen um, the front speaker and the phone is still kind of give me that flashing screen so I do not know what else to fix and I would think more likely would be the board um, I can try to plug into an iTunes to reset that is the last thing I can try but since the thing does not even stays on I don't think you can actually plug into the iTunes so I would call this as a failed repair I failed to repair it this iPhone 7 um, I have run out of my resources and if you're watching this video and if you have any suggestions of what to do uh, please comment below let me know I would be really appreciate for telling me um, but I hope miracle would happen right maybe one day will power up who knows all right thanks for watching and um, again um, I know that this video is not helpful so you don't have to click the like button or smash the like button but if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe it is free to do so and i appreciate you for subscribing um, any question comment below and let me know how you fix your phone with this kind of problem thanks for watching until next time bye now